Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa affirmed the pride in the efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa as it continues to contain the pandemic. He expressed thanks and appreciation to all national caterers that are participating in facilitating Ashura to maintain safety for all. He also praised the security forces, the Jafari Endowments Council, heads of Matams, clerics, volunteers, and all parties involved in organizing. Ashura and apply all precautionary measures. His Majesty affirmed the importance of carrying out Ashura in the spirit of Bahraini's culture, heritage and values which represents a model to be emulated in religious tolerance and coexistence. He prayed that the worship will be well received in the service of the religion and that the kingdom and the Islamic world will continue to enjoy security and safety. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, marking the anniversary of the revolution of the king and the people. His Majesty the King wished King Mohammed VI the health and well-being and the Moroccan people for their progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty King Hamad underlined the depth of the steadily growing fraternal ties between both countries and people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the anniversary of the revolution of the King and the people. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Morocco, His Royal Highness Mualli Al Hassan, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Morocco, Saad al Din Al Uthmani. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister today held a telephone call with the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III. During the call, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and U.S. Secretary of Defense highlighted the long-standing strategic ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America. They also reviewed the latest regional and international developments, including the latest developments in Afghanistan. The Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, the IGA, said in a report that the value of exports and national origin increased by 62% to 327 million Bahraini dinars during July 2021, compared to 202 million Bahraini dinars for the same month of the previous year. The total value of re-exports increased by 45% to reach 60 million Bahraini dinars during July 2021, compared to 41 million Bahraini dinars for the same month of the previous year. The value of imports increased by 10%, reaching BD 418 million during July 2021, compared to BD 378 million for the same month of the previous year. The top 10 countries accounted for 71% of the value of imports, with the remaining countries accounting for 29%. The trade balance, the difference between exports and imports, was 31 million Bahraini dinars during July of 2020. 21 versus 135 million Bahraini dinars for the same month of the previous year with a decrease of 77%. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,129,009 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,074,086 had taken the second, and 233,265 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,135 with 107 recoveries, 127 registered new cases. 40 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 66 are contact active cases and 21 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.